Hey guys, it's Eric here and this is my review of the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G. In the box, we get an envelope that houses the SIM ejector tool, a clear TPU case, a quick start guide, safety manual and warranty. Here we can see all the 4G and 5G bands that it supports. We get a hefty 120W fast charger and USB Type-C cable. On the front, we have a 6.67 inch OLED display with 120Hz refresh rate. At the top, you have a centered punch hole that houses a 16 megapixel selfie camera. On the back, you have a 200 megapixel triple camera setup with dual flash and some Redmi branding. On the left, you have nothing. On the right, you have your power button and volume rocker, which doubles up as a fingerprint sensor. On the top, you have an IR blaster, a microphone, a speaker, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the bottom, you have a second speaker, a second microphone, a USB type C port, and a tray that houses two 5G nano SIM cards. The design of the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G has come very close to what we saw on flagships last year, big cameras on an island that takes up space. Glass back, plastic frame, same as its predecessors, but it looks way more premium from the back. Speaking of premium, this is one of the best displays for reading. I changed the color scheme to P3 color gamut and using it in the dark felt so easy on the eyes, which is an option we don't get on the previous gen. It comes with 256 gigs of storage and 8 gigs of RAM. We get 5 gigs of virtual RAM which have now become notorious for being a gimmick. We are running Android 12 with MIUI 14. MIUI 14 brought on new aesthetics, the system takes less storage space, better security, home screen and folder customization options. The fingerprint sensor is accurate and faster than last year's Redmi Note 11's by like milliseconds. It will get the job done. The Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G uses the new 6 nanometer Dimensity 1080 CPU clocked at 2.6 GHz and it is capable of handling your daily tasks and even playing Call of Duty smoothly. Now if you're a hardcore gamer, you'll be looking at the Poco series anyway because those are like ridiculously powerful for their price brackets, but I digress. Let's talk about the battery. It is a 5000 mAh battery which is still the standard of 2023 and it lasts all day as you can expect. The 120 watt fast charger that comes in the box is miles ahead of the standard. We are talking 19 minutes for a full charge. The speed I got was between 23 minutes to 30 minutes because the phone was turned on and my country is quite hot but it's still very impressive. Let's see how that dual stereo speaker compares side by side the Redmi Note 11 Pro. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn, ain't that great? Nice. I don't wanna go to work. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Uh. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn, ain't that great. Looking at the camera, Xiaomi talks a big game with that 200 megapixel primary camera, but hey, they didn't say it was a flagship camera. It took very decent pictures for a mid ranger, and that's where your expectations should be at with this phone. Some of the low light pictures I took without 200 megapixel mode were very detailed, and even the videos I took in poor lit environments were pretty okay. Tested some of the cool features like the voice shutter, which you can activate by saying cheese. Also, the selfie camera is a little more detailed than its predecessors if you're super into selfies. We don't get all of the flagship camera features, but at least we do get Pro Cut, which is splitting your picture in five ways while retaining the quality. You guys know I love to use Gcam and I did try Gcam on this, so tell me what you think. It records video in 4K from the primary camera, but maxes out at 1080p from the selfie camera. It's out at 1080p at 60 frames per second. So what do you guys think? <laughs> do you buy land? Is this all you do for life? <laughs> okay. Are you broke? <laughs> The Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G has a lot going for it, starting from the display being color accurate and easy on the eyes, to the ridiculously fast charging that always impresses me when I switch back and forth from other mid-range phones, not to mention a box that has nearly every accessory you need, minus earphones. There's also the remote control feature that a lot of people wish they had on their phone. That being said, if you've recently upgraded to the Redmi Note 11 Pro, I suggest you keep it for another year because right now we're on the same Android version, you got a tinier selfie camera hole and the cost of selling to upgrade is too high in my opinion. I would recommend this to someone who is currently using the Redmi Note 10 or 11 non-pro version and of course someone who has never experienced 5G on their smartphone. It is priced at 279,000 Naira and it is available in all the major retail stores nationwide. I would love to know your thoughts about it in the comments. If you love this video please give it a thumbs up and share it. Also follow me on Twitter and Instagram to see what I'm up to. Do subscribe for more videos like this as it will mean a lot to me and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!